So I had this idea that I'd roll into the frame and then while I was trying to do it, I realized that I don't really remember how to do a roly poly and I almost broke my neck. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you along with me in a day of my life, lockdown edition. So I'm just gonna be showing you how I've been keeping myself busy, which hasn't been very well. Some days I've literally just been lying there staring at the ceiling, but today I'm gonna try and keep myself busy just for you so first step of the day is I'm just gonna go and put some basic makeup on to try and make myself feel like a human I think that's the thing that I keep forgetting to do during lockdown is just take care of myself yeah sometimes it's just nice to put a bit of makeup on and actually get dressed although we're not actually getting dressed today don't worry I did actually almost put on denim shorts for this video just to try and look more put together I guess but it turns out I've become way too accustomed to loose fitting clothing so we're sticking with that today. Okay. <coughs> oh. That wasn't normal. Before I have my iced coffee we're going to take Max for a walk so I'll take you along. Don't pee on the car. Oh. Nice. So one of my main goals with this walk was to get some cute shots of Max waddling around but every time I filmed him he started peeing and I'm assuming nobody wants to see that and if you do then that's hecka nasty. <laughs> but anyway I guess I just wanted to preach for a second about how much walks are actually keeping me sane at the moment. Sane might not be the right word but you get my point. <laughs> They're honestly just getting me through lockdown because it just gets me away from the house. So. Before we get told that we can't have our daily exercise anymore, I would definitely recommend getting outside just to clear your head and stretch those legs. So anyway, now that we're back, I'm gonna go make myself a nice coffee now, finally. <laughs> okay, so sometimes I like to have a nice coffee in the morning just to wake myself up. I mean, I don't have one every day just because I'm a weak bitch and sometimes it gives me headaches. But I usually have a white chocolate iced coffee, which I really love. But today I'm trying the salted caramel one and I will let you know how it goes. I just feel like everyone seems to have an aesthetic shot of them making a coffee. So I really wanted to give it a go. I mean, whether I did a good job or not is very debatable, but I tried and that's all that matters. I don't like it. <laughs> I figured I'd just expose myself because, you know, I don't want to live a lie. So I'm there trying to make this really nice, smooth shot of me making a nice coffee. And then you've just got me obliterating this ice. We don't have it in little squares. They don't fit in the glass. And the only way I could think to do it is to just smack it. So, you know, that's how I make my ice. There's no point in hiding it. <laughs> Okay, so at this point I'm probably gonna go outside for a bit and do a little bit of painting because I've been drawing a lot but not painting so I think I'll get my watercolours out and do a little bit. So I decided to draw beetles because I always find them really fun to colour in and honestly I did have a lot of fun painting these so I hope you enjoy this little speed paint.
Little disclaimer, this part does include snails, so if you don't want to look at any snails, I suggest you skip to this time. My mum decided that she'd start to clean the back garden, so I, I decided to help. We took this bucket out into the front garden and I saw that there were some snails in there. I found maybe four snails that I was pretty sure were alive. <laughs> But I've decided that I'm going to keep them as pets because I keep seeing a lot of stuff on TikTok and stuff like that where people have pet snails in like a little enclosure. So I've decided since their shells are pretty bashed up, like they're not going to do well out in nature. So I figured I would take care of them and I'm really excited. I, I keep saying that I want like a giant snail, but I can't really get one of them right now. So um, a load of little snails works for me too. They're currently just in a Tupperware container where they'll be for the next few days until my enclosure comes. I just want to take a minute to introduce you to six new members of the family. <laughs> I'm so scared. It's because he's a little bastard. He's... Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh. Snails are screamed so loud. He does not care. Max, oh no. Fuck off. Lucy, take him in. He's not Lucy, gonna eat him. a snail. He will. He eats dirt. He'll eat a snail. <laughs> oh shit. Maybe he will. Okay, I found this guy on a wall. I think he's okay and he can join the squad. So, anyway, it's time to make some sort of home. What about him? Carol. Carol? I said him. Baskin. No, Lucy. Joe. No. Exotic sardine oil. <laughs> We've got five beautiful snails. There is a big fat. Oh, there's a snail! <gasps> oh, Satan's in there. I'm, wow. look, I'm shaking. I'm like. <laughs> Alright. Not some beautiful soil, that. There better be no other creepy crawlies in there. I'm not here for you. Okay, so I'm gonna put in the first little bit of decoration that I have, which is this tiny little house. I know not everybody cares about snails and I know some people probably think they're pretty fucking gross but I love them and they're new members of the family so <laughs> I will probably do an update video. Oh yeah so I just took about half an hour as well just talking to Connor because you know it's important to keep in contact with people so you know I just told him about my snails basically and just the camera like I'm still le learning how to use this camera. I feel like I've learned a lot today though I'm I am learning. <laughs> So anyway, now I'm gonna go outside and help destroy the shed because we need to get rid of it. So let's go do that. <laughs> I'm pooped. Completely pooped. <laughs> I thought I was filming and I actually fell and smashed my head off that. And I was like, oh, well at least it'll be a funny thing for the video. I wasn't filming. Okay, so it's been a pretty chaotic day. We just took out the rest of the shed into the front garden and took a big scooter that my mum's boyfriend's sister left in our back garden for some reason so 
we had to get that into the front garden as well but anyway i think it's about time to wind down because my back is about to give out so the old lady cardigan is going on and i'm sorry if it offends anyone but the bra is coming off we're gonna be making tea now we're having lasagna or lasagna as my mum would say <laughs> oh Okay, so I'm finally back in bed. I'm just gonna basically spend the rest of the night editing. We might watch a movie or something. I'm absolutely pooped. My back hurts so badly. So I just need to chill out, edit my video and just, you know, do, do, do that. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like it was a bit of a weird one, but you know, daily vlog, anything can happen, so. I will see you in the next video, thanks for watching.